whereas judges and lawyers are effectively the generals of denial. The police are the stormtroopers in the invaders' unremitting campaign to take everything and leave us with nothing. And everywhere the criminal use of judges, lawyers and police by the occupying colonial power upholds the illegitimate regime, regime thus perpetrating the crime against humanity. And whereas we continue to assert that we are free peoples in a free land, we reserve our rights. And we, the people of the First Nations of the island continent of Australia and our supporters, solemnly declare and assert our pre-existing and continuing sovereignty over the total landmass of this island continent. We declare that the First Nations people's law and culture is the continental law of the land of this island continent, which has never been abrogated by any of us, nor have we acknowledged, nor have we knowingly agreed to any com compromise and have always been fought to defend our laws. We declare that our continued resistance to the illegal occupying power is a justifiable right and a sacred duty to defend ourselves against tyranny. We resolve to establish the authority of the sovereign inherent rights as independent nations and peoples, free from the intervention of the occupying colonial power. We resolve to reject any attempt to steal First Nations patrimony by way of being coerced to assimilate into the British colonial constitution of which we have never been a part. We resolve to unite to reclaim First Nations sovereign inherent rights under our law and culture to restore that which is ours by right of claim for the common good. We resolve to unite to reclaim, uh, sorry, we affirm settled laws of Aboriginal governance and we resolve to exercise our inherent sovereign right to be self-governing and independent as is affirmed by modern international law. We recall that the exercise of our rights to right of self-determination under our law and culture is an internationally recognised legal right. The colonial law judicial system of the Commonwealth of Australia is obliged to observe that contested sovereignty is not justiciable in the domestic courts of Australia. Therefore, First Nations peoples assert that no law of the imposed occupying power has any legal jurisdiction over us as sovereign Aboriginal peoples. And as such, any laws made by the occupying power in their parliament can abrogate, cannot abrogate or destroy any of our laws. To assert any such act is defined as an act of war against First Nations people of this island continent. Recognising that no court within the Commonwealth of Australia have the legal jurisdiction to interfere with our rights to exercise our right of governance under our law and culture as distinct independent sovereign nations and peoples. We assert permanent sovereignty over natural resources, land, waters, airspace, all of which are connected to our song lines of creation and which is the source of our rodeo title. We assert our inherent sovereign rights to the, to the endemic biodiversity of this, land, this island continent. We, com we demand that the Commonwealth of Australia with its colonial states respectively commence meaningful negotiations to affirm and respect our inherent sovereign rights and title to this island continent. And demanding that the Commonwealth of Australia with its colonial states respectively accept the legitimacy and accept the judgment of its Supreme High Court ruling in Marva No. 2, which held in law that the British Crown did not gain beneficial radical title to this land, Elodial. We demand, we demand that the Commonwealth of Australia with its colonial states respectively all re recognise and accept their limitations to land tenure, which does not extinguish our ancient Elodial title to this land and waters in any form whatsoever. We call upon the Commonwealth state and territory governments to recognise their limitations and fraud being perpetrated against its population by continuing to deny the facts of their limitations and illegitimacy in law of their constituency. We call upon the Governor-General and his counterparts, the Governors of the respective states and territories, to accept the findings of the Federal Parliament. 200 years later, the Senate Standing Committee on Constitution and Legal Affairs in the Feasibility of a Compact or Makarata between the Commonwealth and Aboriginal people, we affirm where affirmation was given 
to continued Aboriginal sovereignty, where they said it was further stated that some would say that sovereignty inherited in the Aboriginal people inhabiting Australia at the time of settlement by the Europeans, and that sovereignty still subsists, even though not recognised by the occupying power or its legal system. We call upon the Governor General and his counterparts, the governors to respect, uh, of the respective states, to now recognise that the Supreme Court of Australia, uh, High Court of Australia, held that Aboriginal law and customs are not a construct of the colonial law, but rather the colonial law now recognises it. People, we have the power. We just don't know how to exercise it. come now where we must understand what this truly means and basically what that means is that there is no court when we argue our law our custom and that you're violating our law there is no court in this country that are uh, allowed and, perm and permitted to deal with the contested sovereignty of our state and our assertion of sovereignty under no our law they have no jurisdiction and so it is now time for us to begin to get out there. We need an army of people who can take this message out to our people around this country and tell our people that they are no longer slaves to a system.